Howard, what are the raw materials sort of captured in that product there? Uh, it is a mix of, of products from, from different environments. A lot of it is from domestic collected waste. Some of it is from industrial waste. But primarily it's plastic packaging. So in here you would have a lot of uh, film grade materials from, from plastic packaging. You'd have a lot of bottle top type materials. So yes, primarily packaging. John, you're particularly annoyed with uh, some of the problems that we have with packaging, so... Yeah, um, well I mean, pl plastics uh, they're not be very stable, uh, very durable, very long lasting, they don't biodegrade and of course so much packaging is used these days that uh, it's really good to find a very good use for them and in fact it seems to me that uh, in producing something like this it's got a far longer service life and in many ways it is more useful than the original packaging material which probably only had a, a life of a few weeks or months before it was discarded. Yes, yeah. And, uh, yeah. You're converting a product into something that will last for a substantial yeah. number yeah. of years and even at the end of its useful service life you can grind it back down and reform it into yeah. something else as so well. So it's, it's got a much better utility value in a way than the, the things that it was made from in the first place, which only had a very short life. That's right. And this particular product is a, a cover for a cable trough. So usually used in a power transmission plant to cover up all of the cables. And in that application it's replacing concrete, which is particularly environmentally unfriendly in, in its manufacturing process. So whilst uh, concrete is very good at spanning large gaps, we can overcome that with plastic by reinforcing it with steel. So in this particular project, product, there's a piece of steel that's fully encapsulated underneath. Now this is uh, only about two feet wide, so it wouldn't actually need the steel, but if you wanted to span over eight, nine feet, then you would need the steel to reinforce it. Right. Uh, I suppose the other thing, you're able to cut that a bit easier to size? Absolutely. Um, some Cable trough systems are very complex in shape uh, and you can't pre-cast a piece of concrete for every particular bend or twist or turn. So in, in laying concrete on site it's very difficult to work with, um, whereas with plastic you can simply cut it with a jigsaw, so yeah. it's very easy to work with. So we eliminate uh, some of the diamond tipped cutting that we need on site a lot quicker. A lot quicker, yeah, no dust creation, no. Uh, so you'll get a very fine swarf that comes off this rather than right. the, uh, the dust you, you suffer with concrete, uh, and in its application it will last much longer. Another thing I like about it is the fact that uh, the feedstock, the, the waste materials, uh, you can take a range of materials, and uh, because there are many um, thermoplastics and they have quite a range of uh, properties, and the fact that you can blend in various plastics and get something very, very useful is a big plus, I think, when it comes to recycling. Yes, yes, I think so. Because with a lot of metals, you, you've got to have a pure waste stream. You don't, sure. if you aluminium, you don't want a lot of copper in it or whatever it is, or steel. You, you've got to, it's got to be pretty, pretty clean and pure to start with, whereas this is yes, a big plus. Yes, less so with plastics, yeah. and, and particularly if you have very thick sections of plastic, you can uh, allow some impurities to get in there. Overall though we need to know what yes, the blend of polymers absolutely. is generally mm -hmm. to ensure its strength but some levels of contamination you so can you, as, as long as you blend the mix reasonably, uh, reasonably accurately you'll, you'll be fine. Yes, yeah. absolutely. That's, yeah. a, that's, that's a big plus. That's a big plus. And how is that produced? Uh, that's produced by a process we call intrusion. So it's a fixed mould on the end of an extrusion line uh, and that allows us to overcome some of the irregularities of recycled plastic because it's made from 100% reused material uh, whereas if you were to pre produce it in a continuous extrusion the, uh, the variance in the material would show through in the quality of the product.